If you are a fan of Formula 1, you might have had questions in the back of your mind like, what kind of fuel does an F1 car use? How much fuel can an F1 car use during a Grand Prix? And why there's no refueling? In this video, we will answer these questions and much more. Let's get started. We'll begin by looking at the composition of Formula 1 fuel. You might be surprised to learn that Formula 1 fuel is very similar to the unleaded premium fuel used in a road car. The main difference between road cars and Formula 1 cars when it comes to fuel is that the octane level is not limited in Formula 1. Octane number is a standard measure of a fuel's ability to withstand compression in an internal combustion engine without detonating. The higher the octane number, the more compression fuel can withstand before detonating. The F1 team's fuel suppliers are not allowed to include power boosting chemicals that are not present in the standard road fuel. This keeps fuel development relevant to real world motoring. Formula 1 fuel must have a minimum octane number of 87. However, higher octane numbers are legal as no maximum allowable rating is given. Typically, Formula 1 fuels have octane numbers in the range of 95 to 102. As a comparison, commercially available road fuel typically has an octane rating between 87 and 95 as you can see in the gas pump. Within the regulations, teams and fuel suppliers are free to optimize their particular blend of fuel according to their power unit. Formula 1 fuel has a component of renewable biofuels. Through 2021, a blend with 5.75% ethanol was required. From 2022 to 2025, a 10% sustainable ethanol blend is required. From 2025 onwards, Formula 1 aims to achieve 100% sustainable fuel. Formula 1 features multiple brands of fuel, and each F1 team has a close relationship with its fuel supplier. Often the team and the fuel supplier are inseparable. As an example, Shell and Ferrari, Petronas and Mercedes, and Gulf Oil and McLaren. All F1 teams do not use the same fuel. Although the specifications of the fuel that they are allowed to use is tightly regulated, there's enough freedom within the regulations to allow each partnership to optimize the fuel blend according to their power unit. Each power unit has different characteristics and strengths, and so the fuel will be adjusted to best complement the particular engine. Each Formula 1 car can use no more than 110 kilograms of fuel during a Grand Prix. This is around 150 liters or 40 gallons. Fuel flow is limited to 100 kilograms per hour. Often, less fuel is put into the car in order for it to run with as little weight as possible. Carrying extra fuel around the track costs lap time. Every 10 kilograms of fuel is estimated to cost 3 tenths of a second per lap. This is the reason you often hear drivers and engineers talking about fuel consumption over radio messages during a Grand Prix. For example, a race engineer might ask his driver to lift and coast before braking for corners as a fuel saving measure towards the end of a race. The worst possible outcome is not finishing a race because a car ran out of fuel. If you are new to Formula 1, you might have seen F1 videos where there was refueling, such as when Michael Schumacher was in his prime between 2000 and 2006. Refueling was an important part of the sport until 2009 when it was banned, predominantly due to safety reasons. In the modern Formula 1, there is no refueling. Cars are filled once before the start of each Grand Prix and must make it to the end on the same tank of fuel. Hope this video helped you learn about Formula 1 fuel. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula 1 content. If you would like to support this channel, check the links in the description below.